What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all. Excuse me, with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today, the, I'm going to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles have signed another offensive lineman. Um, they signed former Colts offensive tackle, um, LaRaven Clark, um, you know, basically to compete for the swingman tackle role. Uh, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come holler at your boy, yo. Um, you know, this is one of those signings that I'm like, okay, <laughs> like... Um, you know, clearly he's familiar with Nick Seriani. Um, played for the, it was a um a 2016 third round draft pick by the Colts out of Texas Tech. Um, never really was a starter starter for them like that. He was he was their swing man tackle. Um, you know, I, I I watched a little bit of film on him. The little bit of film I did see on him honestly wasn't great. But to be fair to him. Um, the main a game that I seen that he played significant amount of snaps in was against the Cleveland Browns, and he went up against Miles Garrett. So a lot of people would not have their better days going up against trying to block Miles Garrett. Um, but he struggled significantly that game, uh, and you know he, he he tore his Achilles like late in the year in December. Um, so he's coming off of a torn Achilles, yo. Uh, I mean, like I said, man, it, it's. You know, you would think the tackles um, position is, is Lane Johnson on the right side. The left side is looking like Jordan Malata, but we're going to see what's up with Andre Dillard. Um, so you would think either Andre Dillard or Jordan Malata. Well, Jordan Malata is more, you know, set to be a swing tackle than Andre Dillard because, you know, we all famously know his rookie year. We try to put him one game at right tackle. And he says it's trying to it's like trying to learn how to write with your left hand. Whereas Jordan Malata basically, you know, handled both right right and left tackle, you know, spots. So um if Jordan Malata is is indeed the starting left tackle that may make Andre Dillard expendable. That may make us put him on the trade block, yo. Um, which may be one of the reasons we brought in a guy like LaRaven Clark, yo, to be, um, you know, the swing tackle. Now, if Andre Dillard is starting, then obviously Mulatto will be the swing tackle. Um, you know, Howie and, um, you know, Jeff Stoutland, they like these linemen, uh, these tackles that could play both the right and the left side. So, you know... LaRaven uh, Clark gives us some value when it comes to that because um, we're going to see what's up with that. That left tackle position is a position that I got my eye on in training camp, yo. Um, if Jordan Malata does indeed win that job over a healthy Andre Dillard, I think we may look to move him, yo. I really think that we may look to get a, a, a trade for Andre Dillard. I don't think we'll keep him on the roster as a swing tackle because like we mentioned he can't play the right side so um then a guy signing a guy like LaRaven Clark would actually you know be a turn into a really good sign right now it's kind of like okay it's an extra body we had a lot of injuries on the offensive line okay fine but um if we do indeed trade a Andre Dillard who loses out the left tackle job to Jordan Malata then this LaRaven Clark signing will definitely, definitely be like, oh, okay. Now I see why we did this. Um, hey, I don't have a problem with, you know, Nick Seriani bringing in guys that he's familiar with. Um, you know, like I said, he, he knows him. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I, that's all I know, man. I, I watched film on him, man. He, he wasn't great, but uh, he, he is a big, imposing guy. Um, with good arms, uh, good long arms, but, you know, I guess in Jeff Stoutland, you know, Jeff Stoutland is one of the better O-line coaches in the league, so um, if Jeff Stoutland could probably get it out or get the best um, out of him, he was a third-round pick, we'll let you know the guy was, you know, was pretty talented, but like I said, man, I don't have a whole, whole lot on him, but besides he was, 
you know, the coach swing tackle, and when he got in there and played some snaps, it didn't go great, <laughs> you know. Um, but, hey, maybe he ends up being our swing um, tackle, depending on what happens at that left tackle position. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, um, no live Q&As this month. Been busy with softball and everything, but um, but stay tuned. Um, whenever I, I get back to, to doing it, um, I'll let y'all know. where Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything, and I'll answer your questions and respond to your comments and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Um, and y'all should join me up be some good stuff. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, you was fly.